Hi, this is Dr. Nick P, and this is Proverbs 288. Proverb today is, the end justifies the means. Okay, if somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. This proverb could also be rephrased as, the ends justify the means. So, it could also be said with ends with an S at the end, too. Both are acceptable. Both are common. All right, let's continue. Uh, if a person says the end justifies the means, he or she is expressing that actions that are morally wrong are at times necessary and must be done to achieve a morally right result. Uh, the idea is that the outcome is morally right, then it is justifiable to do bad things to get there. Now, I don't know if I personally, I don't know if I always would agree with this. I think there's a lot of cases where people say this, but I'm saying, I don't know if that's really right. Uh, I don't know if the end always justifies the means, but they'll often use it as an excuse. Uh, there could be some individual cases where perhaps the end does justify the means, but many cases where people try to use it, I don't know if I would always agree that that's the right thing. You got to be careful, especially to do evil things or immoral things. Uh, you better be careful. I know you want the, the result and you think this result is the right one at the end, but uh, you got to be careful how you get there. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, the origin of this proverb is often credited to Machiavelli's prince. Uh, but ironically, he doesn't actually use this phrase or any wording very close to the phrase. But he does express this, I this idea uh, in his writing. Okay, let's continue. Uh, another possible source is the Roman poet Ovid. Uh, and his uh, Her Heroides, uh, that was his writing, around 10 BC in which he says the quote, Exitus octa probat. Okay, which translated from Latin basically means the result or N justifies the deeds, which is actually quite close. And it's quite close in wording, too. And that goes all the way back to B.C. All right. And we do have uh, three examples here to, um, you know, to cover this idea. Uh, here's number one. Some eco terrorist will try to blow up buildings of organizations that cause harm to the environment, or at least that they believe cause harm to the environment, because they believe the end justifies the means. Yeah, we have seen this before. Number two, according to folklore, Robin Hood stole from the rich and gave to the poor because he believes the end justifies the means. This is probably one of the ones where a lot of people might agree with it. Back at that time, you know, uh, you know, with the king and all, it's almost impossible to fight against that power. And there probably was a lot of injustice. So uh, at least, you know, the legends and, you know, the movies we see kind of cheer for Robin Hood in this sort of sense. Uh, like I said, there might be some exceptions to these rules, but you still, you still need to be very careful with this. Uh, number three here, even though what he is doing is wrong, he believes it is okay because the end justifies the means. So we do hear this a lot. We hear that somebody who's doing something that is questionable whether it's okay, or sometimes we know it's not okay. But that's the excuse that they will use, that the end justifies the mean, therefore it's okay to do it. Uh, okay. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was food for thought. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.